Okay, college algebra students, since I am at a conference today, I thought I might try recording my notes instead of just leaving them for you to read through. So we're going to give it a shot. Uh, warm up wise, if you want to solve that equation for x, you've got x in both of your terms. So before you can actually solve for it, you need to factor it out so that it's only in one location. So pull that x outside, and you're left with 3 plus 5y equals 8. You'd want to divide by 3 plus 5y, so you'll just end up with 8 over 3 plus 5y. So today's new stuff is mixture problems. So word problems, I know, have been your favorite for the past few days. These ones, though, I don't think are too bad. So we will see how they go. Uh, one of the things you have to think about whenever you are solving a mixture problem, you usually have some, like, mixture, think like a can of mixed nuts or something, that's made up of different amounts of like pure substances, like your can of nuts has some peanuts, some almonds, maybe some cashews. So you mix them all together and you've got this mixture that usually contains a higher percentage of peanuts than anything else. So usually when you're solving these, you're gonna have some concentrations and some amounts and maybe you're solving for one amount that you're missing. So let's just try one. Uh, say that you are doing a little chemistry and Samantha needs a 25% solution of zinc sulfate for some experiment. She's got a 15% solution and a 35% solution, but she doesn't have a 25% solution, so she's going to mix the two she's got together to turn it into a 25% solution. Alright, so let's lay out kind of what we have here. I'm going to draw some little beaker things supposedly containing the stuff that I'm mixing together. All right, so we've got two different concentrations that we're gonna dump together to make a new substance. So things that we are mixing together are a 15% solution of zinc sulfate and a 35% solution of zinc sulfate. We're dumping those together in order to come up with a solution that is 25% zinc sulfate. So this is like the things you are mixing. And if you mix them together, this is the things you want to end up with. All right, so you've got your concentrations. Um, let's lay out your amounts here. Okay, so I'm gonna label, that's your concentration of each one. Uh, now the amounts that you've got of each one. If you look at your 15% solution, we actually don't know how many liters of it we're gonna put together in our mix because it says how many liters of the 15% solution should we add. So that's actually what we're trying to find. So I'm gonna label its amount as a variable, just as X. The 35% solution, you are supposed to be adding four liters of. And then if you think about the fact that you're dumping these things together to end up with a new solution, your amount of both of them put together would just be your original amounts added. So you would want to do an x plus 4. So if you turn this into an equation, basically what it's going to look like is you're going to have your percentage of like zinc sulfate from each mixture. The originals added together should equal the total amount in your final goal product. So if you change your percentages to decimals, 
And if you think about how you get amounts, if you multiply the percent times the amount of your mixture, you should get the amount of zinc sulfate in each. So if you do 15% times X and 35% times four, that should equal 25% times X plus four. Oops, undo. Scroll. Doesn't like me right now. Okay. So if you simplify a little bit, do 35% times 4, you're going to end up with 1.4. If you distribute your 25% times your x plus 4, you should get 0.25x plus 1. And then you just got to solve your equation, do a little rearranging. So subtract your 0.15x from both sides. That would leave you with 1 tenth x. And then if you subtract your 1, you'll end up with just 4 tenths. Divide by your 1 tenth and you should end up with 4 liters. So the amount of 15% solution that you need to add is 4 liters in order to make this mixture come out to be a 25% final product. Alright, let's try another mixture one. So this time you want to know how many gallons of a 7% acid solution must be mixed with 10 gallons of a pure acid solution to get a solution that is just 19% acid. So kind of lay it out here, same way as before. You are mixing together two things. So you are putting a 7% acid solution. Together with some pure acid solution, which basically means it's 100% fully acidic. And then you're going to end up with, if you put the right amounts together, a 19% acid solution. So amounts that you know, you want to know how many gallons of your 7% solution. So amount-wise, I'm just going to label that with X. And then you're going to mix that with 10 gallons of your pure acid. And then if you've dumped all that together, your amount that you're going to end up with of 19% solution is x plus 10 gallons. So kind of like last time, if you go ahead and multiply your percentages times your amounts, I'm just going to go ahead and change these to decimals while I'm at it, you'd have 7% x, 100% is just 1, so if you take 1 times 10, really that's just going to be 10, but I'll write it, and then you've got 0.19 times x plus 10. Do a little simplifying, so you can just make this 7% x plus 10 equals, and then distribute, so, oops, undo, 19% plus 1.9. Combine some like terms, so probably subtract over this 0.07x, and you got 10 equals 1200 x plus 1.9, subtract your 1.9, and you're going to end up with 8.1 equals 1200x. And then if you divide by your 0.12, you should end up with x equals 67.5 gallons. Hopefully you guys are doing all right. I don't think these ones are too bad in terms of word problems. Let's do one more. 
Okay, so now you're taking some water, adding it to some saline, so salt water, to reduce it so it's only 3% concentration. So you're making it less salty. Right. Like my picture here. You gotta, oops, undo. You've got water, which is basically 0% salt that you're mixing with a saline solution that's 9% salt. And you wanna end up with a concentration of just 3% salt. So you're looking for how much water, so that would be our non-concentrated, not salty water, is our X. Should be added to 25 milliliters of our 9% solution to reduce the concentration to 3%. So we've got X plus 25 if you dump those together. Well, if I take 0% times X, it's going to end up just being 0. If I do 9% or 0 0.09, times 25, that'll give you amount of salt in your 9% saline solution. And then you've got 3%, so 0 0.03 times x plus 25. Do a little simplifying, 9% of 25 is two and a quarter. Distribute 0 0.03x plus, that'd be, three quarters, 0.75. And subtract your 0.75 over, you'll end up with 1.5. And then divide by your three hundredths and you'll end up with 50 milliliters. Even though I'm not there, go ahead and try this one and see if you end up with what I got. Hopefully you will, and then you have some homework problems to work on. Good luck.